channel for another video. Today is Thursday. Uh, I'm filming this early, but you'll see this on Thursday, which will be my Throwback Thursday video for a palette that I have that I either have never used or I haven't used in a very long time, and we're going to use it today. And the palette that I chose for this thir th my this blah, 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 I can't talk Throwback Thursday is the Smitten in Switzerland palette, which looks like that. We're going to create a look with that. But before we get started, if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So happy that you're here. All right. I've already got my base on, and we'll talk about that at the end. But let's go ahead and work on doing an eyeshadow. Let's work on it, shall we? All right. First, I'm going to set my primer, eye primer. And the eye primer that I'm trying today is from Lovecraft Beauty. It's the eyeshadow primer. I got this in one of my subscription books. One of my subscription boxes, I don't remember which one, probably Ipsy or BoxyCharm. And we're gonna try it today. I've never used it. So, yeah. Let's see, I get my mirror up closer. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do to set that primer is I'm gonna use this color Alpine and set my primer. So how is everybody doing today? I am actually filming this on Monday and we were supposed to have rain pretty much all week long. We've had it all weekend and we've had it for weeks. <laughs> I think that in the month of April, we, it rained at least every weekend, at least, if not, and then during the week, sun too. And here we are in May, and it's still raining. And usually by now, it's gotten hot here, even in the at night. But we're still having, it gets up to 80. I think the highest it's gotten is 85. But at night, it's still getting down in the 50s and 60s. So, I don't know. Strange weather we're having. Strange weather. All right. Now, I think I'm going to go in. I don't know what I'm going to go in with. Um... I'm going to go in with this Yodel. I'm going to start in my outer corner today with Yodel. Let's just see how that darkens it up. Uh, let me find my color switch out here. I need to wash those my brushes. Uh, I will do that today, I think. I hope. Maybe. <laughs> no, I made no promises. All right. Let's just go in. What did I say? That Yodel. Okay, which is that burgundy type color. So, yeah, so I got this idea. I've been watching Jan Van and Erica Conger and uh, Marina with Makeup by Marina. Um, they've been doing the throwback. Well, Jan started it and then Erica started, um, came on board and then Marina and I don't know. I just thought, why not try this through the summer? Just kind of bring that in like that a little bit. It's so pretty. That is such a pretty color. Pretty. No fallout. It's not um, patchy. Very pretty. Very pretty. I like that. My eye itches, y'all. All right. So let's go do the other eye. So I decided, why not? I want to try this through the summer and see how it goes. So that's what I'm doing. This on and bring it in some. That is so pretty. I have no idea why I don't use palette. Maybe it could be because I have too many palettes. <laughs> that might be my problem. No, that can't be a problem, can it? Well, let me. It's driving me crazy. Let's. Get these out of my way. Okay. All right, let me get up my blending brush and do some blending. Where are you? There you are. 
I, yeah, I've got to wash my brushes today. This is ridiculous. Just been lazy about it. Because I had all weekend to do it because it rained all weekend and we didn't do anything. But I was just lazy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Set out on my back porch with my husband. Just been lazy. Now, I want to go in with, hmm, I'm going to use a fluffier brush, and I think I'm going to take this, I think it's called Lucerne, Lucerne color here, and I'm going to kind of go into the crease and the transition a little bit, but I want a fluffy brush. Let's do it. This one may be too fluffy, but we're going to try it. So yeah, so I've done a lot this week. Just my general stuff. <laughs> if it rains, I don't like to get out in the rain because, and plus my 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 osteoarthritis oh, hurts way more. It already hurts enough as it is. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to take that and put that on all my whole lid, the rest of my lid. Why not? Isn't that pretty? That is actually really pretty. I have no idea why. I don't, well, I do know why, but because I have too many pallets. Shh. Don't tell my husband. <laughs> my husband's like, you're never going to use all that makeup. I'm like, well, I do use it. Maybe not every day. I don't use the same ones every day, but I do use them. So just leave me alone. <laughs> no, he's good about it for the most part. Sometimes he gets irritated, but he's, for the most part, he's pretty good about it. All right. Now, what do you think about that? I like that. I think that looks good. I like that. I like that. Now, I'm going to do a shimmer because I'm going to use a shimmer, even though they say, when you turn in your fifties, you don't need to be using shimmers. Mm -mm. See, nobody's a boss of me. I'm old. <laughs> I'm 59. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to go in. Do I want to use? You know what? I was going to use this Zurich and just stay with this color scheme. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go in with this Mount Pilatus. This silver grayish shimmer. But... I'm going to put on my um, BH Cosmetics Base Booster. See if I can put this on and make it stay better. So yeah. Of course, I got it on my eyelash. Why not? Okay, I'm just going to do one eye at a time. All right, got it on my eyelashes. Why not? Okay, now let's take my finger. Oh, isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Let's just put that on that lid. Build that up. I love it. That is pretty. Let's do some little blending. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. That is so pretty. That's pretty. All right. Then let's go. Okay, let's put that into here just a little bit. Put 
That's pretty. I really do like that. All right, now we're going to go on the other eye. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to put some of this um, base booster, which is basically glitter glue, on. This stuff lasts a long time. Long time. Okay. too much. Okay, I have to wash that. All right. I mean, look at that. That is so pretty. I like this. I like this. Okay, wipe my finger off. Let's do some blending. Back in with that. A little bit more of that on my this side, but more on the other one than I do this way. All right. Okay, okay. Look at that, isn't that pretty? That is gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so to make this so it's not such a long video, I'm going to go off and I'm gonna finish up these eyes and then we're gonna come back and talk about it. So hold on. Okay, I'm back. And yeah, one thing I didn't do, hold on one second guys. my inner corner. <laughs> All right, so this is my finished look. Let me go turn off my light. This is, this is my finished look. Let me know what you think. I think it came out really pretty. I was, I'm really surprised and really happy with it. Something on it. All right, so let's talk about Let's talk about what I did to the eyes when I went offline, and then we'll talk about the base. So, when I went offline, I took from um, Becca, I took the highlighter in Vanilla Quartz, which is this one, and I put a little bit under the brow bone area, just a little bit, just a little bit. Kind of blend that out just a little more. All right, I use that, and... Um, yeah, then I used my Rimmel um, Scandal Eyes in Brown. I used that as my eyeliner, which, you know, looks like that right there. That's my eyeliner. Then under my eyes, I took my ColourPop Shadow Stick and... Oh, Oh, I don't know. Let's see here. I made my out. I have my glasses on. In which lease? So metallic. Okay, what a name. And um, I took that and I put that in my waterline and I actually used it as my under eye liner also. Use that. Then I used my uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Eyelash Primer, of course, and then my Tarte Tartlet Chibi Mascara as my mascara. Use that. Then, da -da 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 -da. so now let's go to the base. Let's go to the base. So for my primer today, I used my Elf Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. And I meant to use this too, but I forgot, but that's okay. So I use this primer. And then under my eyes, I use the e.l.f. Putty Color Correcting Eye Brightener, which, I don't know, it's okay. It's all right. Some days it does better, it looks better than others, I guess. So that was my under eye brighten, pri brightener, primer, whatever you want to call it. Then for my base, I used my Pure Lease Ageless Glow 
uh, serum BB cream SPF 40 with Bacucciol and collagen and vitamin C in the color Fair. I'm pretty sure this is Fair. Well, I'm, I know it's Fair, but anyway, so I use that as my foundation today. Then for my bronzer or for a contour, and I don't even know if I, I don't think I do contour right, but I don't know. I went ahead and used this Wet n' Wild, tried it as a, as what it's made for, um, a contour. And where's Walnut? I don't know. Did I succeed? I doubt it, but I don't know. That was what I used as a contour. Um, then for my blush, I used the Sigma. Um, Beaming Glow Illuminating Powder in Fairy Dust, which looks like that. Use that. As my under eye prime powder, I used um, from Jacqueline, I used the Brightening Lilac Powder, which is a, it is a lilac purple color. For my concealer, for my under eye concealer, I've got something all over me. For my under eye concealer, I used my Jeffree Star Concealer in the lightest shade. Can't read what shade that is, but it's the lightest one. Um, then for my bronzer, I use my L'Oreal Lumi Bronze It in Light. I love this bronzer. Then for powder, let's see. I use that. I told you about that. Okay. Then for my blush highlighter, I use a blush lighter, the um, Beauty Bakery Cotton Candy Champagne Blush Lighter Palette. And I used this one here, No Champagne, No Gain. I used that one for my blush and my highlighter together. Um, For my eyebrows, I used the Essence Make Me Brow uh, Eyebrow Gel Mascara and Brownie Brows, used that. And then I used, and I don't even, I still don't know who this one's from. Anyway, then I used this clear gel, brow gel to put them in place. Then, hmm, for my lips, I used my Gerard Cosmetics Lip Liner in Sugar and Spice, which is like that. And then I just went in with my um, Milani Fruit Fetish Coco Cacao uh, Lip Oil, and it's a brown. It's just a brown gloss, and voila, my hair is funky. Voila, this is my finished look. Let me get up close so you can see better. So this is my finished look. I think it came out really pretty. I'm really pleased with it. I like it. I need to use it more often. This is a little darker over here, isn't it? That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. All right, guys. So this is my finished look. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you don't mind. It really helps the algorithm to push the channel out there. And share with your friends. And, yeah, when we get to 800, we're going to have a big giveaway. So, yeah, let everybody, let your friends know. All right, guys. Until I see you in the next video, take care. Bye.